Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hey, welcome again, man, to Cooking in the Hood with CJ Mack. Hey, y'all, I'm sorry I was gone for so long, man. My legs swole up like big balloons, man, because like I told y'all before that I, you know, that I'm sick. I got chronic um, kidney disease and uh, we ain't gonna get into no bunch of stuff, but just to know that I I got chronic kidney disease and it, it messed up my legs. But I'm back though. Um, it's good to be back. Um, like I said, I've been going through that and a few other things that, you know, that's kind of crazy, man. Um, but they all been health problems. Um, but as y'all can see, I'm back. I'm, I'm better. I'm up on my legs. I'm off of off the cane and all that stuff, man. Um, I hope I stay like this. Um, if I don't, then, you know, I'll work with it from there. You know what I'm saying? Hey, today I got a treat. I can't even remember if I even did this for you guys. But uh, this is what I got. Okay. We're getting ready to make a a seafood a boil and I got all the ingredients out here um, I, over here on the far end uh, shrimp lobster tail as you can see potatoes corn onion kielbasa and a bunch of seasonings and stuff that I have right here that we're going to be using. Now, I'm not going to use all, I'm going to use all of them, but some of them got, are empty. So, I mean, you know, are almost done. So, I'm going to, uh, you know, use the rest of it so I don't be crowding my cabinet up. You know what I'm saying? But, and then those, are, I'm going to throw the trash in the trash in those bags over there. Um, this is our pot, this is the size pot we're using because it's going to be a personal one. So, I want to make it small. Um, and I left out one item. I had to walk in front because I can't walk in back. Um, and also eggs. Okay. These are the, the stuff that we're going to use to make our seafood boil. So let's get started. I'll be talking to y'all, and you know, we'll be enjoying each other's company, you know what I'm saying? It's so good to be back, man. I'm using this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, camera deal, and it got my stuff all crooked and stuff. I don't know what else to do, but keep messing with it and straightening it out. Um, yeah, like I said, um... Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to set it up over here. Okay, instead of setting it up on the stove, we're going to set it up over here. I'm going to put these uh, shrimp and uh, lobster tails in the refrigerator. Whatever we don't need right now, I'm going to put it up, but it looks like I'm going to need the rest of this stuff. Okay, I'm going to get a chopping board. And a serrated knife. And we finna go to work. I don't know if y'all can see, but I'm gonna I don't know if y'all can see, but I'm gonna make sure y'all can see. Alright. And this is what we're gonna do. Like I said, we're gonna be working right here. We finna go to work. As soon as I get set up, completely set up anyway. I don't mean to be quiet on you guys. I'm just trying to get everything set up. That's all. Okay. Like I said, this is where we're going to start at. Onion. Well, let's, uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's, let's, well, 
Let's do the potatoes first. We're gonna do the potatoes first. I don't have no water in there yet because I don't have a I don't have a uh, a cover over me, and I don't want to get my clothes dirty. And I do these potatoes a couple at a time because I don't want to stick no rotten potatoes in there. I don't know about you, but I ain't trying to bite into no rotten potato. I think that's all right. Whatever we don't use, we're going to stick back in the refrigerator and use it at a different time if it's still good. Uh, next, we're going to put this meat in. Apron. That's what it's called. I was sitting up here trying to think about what that, what that deal is called that you put around your neck that... Uh, has extra material on it that keep you from getting all nasty and stuff. And it's called an apron. <laughs> See, I be forgetting stuff, y'all. That's that green, boy. Anyway. We chop this down. Because this is going to go in next. We're going to go on and put in all the meat. Even though this is a personal one, we're going to go on and put in all the meat. Normally, I have my ex-wife over here, and we normally eat, you know, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You know, I still, yeah, I still have a relationship with my ex-wife. And and you got to, you know. You got to, especially if you got kids, you know. You got to have a relationship with them. Anyway, the next thing is onion. Okay. We're going to use the whole onion, but I cut it in half so it's easier to handle. And when you cut your onions, you don't have to cut them small. You can cut them large. Because that's what I'm doing. I mean, you got a large meal, you cut large onions. You got a smaller meal, you cut smaller onions. And what I mean by small is, I'm talking about the, the meat product. You know? But we got a lot of stuff, so I cut the onion kind of big. But they're going to boil down and be translucent when they're done. Next, we're going to put this corn in here. And be careful because it's a personal one, so you're not going to use 12 or 8, no, 12 pieces of corn. You're not going to do that. So don't open your package all the way up all crazy and then not be able to you know, wrap it back up in a certain kind of way so that you don't get freezer burn on your corn and all that old kind of stuff. I don't know. Maybe, maybe five, six corns.
I'm gonna put that back in the freezer. To the zinc and fill it up full of water. Put these dishes up that I washed earlier. Put these dishes that I washed up earlier. That's all I was trying to do is get y'all around to the zinc. I forgot to wash this earlier today, so forgive me. All right, y'all, fill that up uh, probably until until it gets full. Not not all the way full, but you'll see. You'll see what I'm talking about. Not all the way full, but almost full, because you're going to need the area. When I turn it on, I'm probably going to turn it on to about a 7, which is about a medium high. Fill it up to about right there. We're going to move around to the stove. Okay. So now we're going to use these seasons. I don't know why I brought the seasons over here and I can use them over there. Okay. I'm just going to use with these uh, Cajun seasons and stuff. I'm just going to use the rest of them because they just got a little bit in there. They just got a little bit in there. Not enough for anything. So I'm just going to use a little bit. Well, a little bit that's left. So we ain't gonna need much more. I'm gonna stop there and pull out the Zatarants. Pull out the Zatarants, uh, crab and seafood boy. Or say crab and see it say crawfish, shrimp, and crab boil. I call it a seafood boil. Everybody, everybody uses it. Hold on, guys. I gotta check something out. Sorry guys, I'm quiet. I'm trying to read something because I've never had no plastic bag before. So, I don't know what to do with this thing. I don't know if to open the bag or what, because it's in a bag. I never had one in a bag before. Okay, so it say unopened. So I guess, man, oh, this is weird, man. This is really weird. So it say unopened. So we're gonna put it in there. Um, 
Okay, guys. I'm going to use my spoon. I'm going to slice that down in there. Put that down in there. And let it do what it do. I'm going to put a little bit more seasoning in there. This one's brand new, so I got to take the aluminum foil off of it. Just put a little, it's not, it's not going to take much more this season. That's about it. That's all the seasoning. The uh, Old Bay or the other seasoning that I put in there was the Tony's Creole. And then I put that crab oil in there. So with the crab oil bag and the seasoning that I put in there, that's going to be enough. And the only thing I do is just add the regular seasons now. Just a tiny bit of salt. Not much at all. Trying to stay off the salt, man. Or at least stay away from a lot of it. You know what I'm saying? Larry season salt. Some of that. Onion powder. Garlic powder. Oh no, this is a lemon and pepper seasoning. Garlic. And all this stuff, you can see how much I'm putting in there. I can't tell you how much it is. And then regular pepper. Not much of it, because remember, you put the lemon pepper in there, too. Okay? Then we're going to stir it on up, get it ready. For all you old heads, get it ready because it's ring ding dong, ring a ding 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 dong, ring a ding ding dong, ring a ding 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 dong. And I'm telling y'all, see, this is for the older crowd because the older crowd remember the song, the actual song, not no samples and all that old crazy mess. Alright, so I got everything in there, stirred up. We're not gonna put the lid on there all the way. We're gonna leave it out to vent. Because if you ain't got no vent, that shit'll boil over, excuse me, that stuff will boil over and it'll be all over the place. And then you'll be cleaning up a bunch of mess. So y'all, that essentially So that essentially is how we make it, okay? Um, that's the that's the the beginning. That's everything that we put in there in the beginning. Okay, so now next I'm gonna put some eggs on in which we need to get these eggs together. I don't know how many eggs we're going to use. Hey, y'all. And the jiggling from the, from the screen, I got to move it to turn to the ways that we're going to do it. I'm here by myself, so I don't have a camera set up or nothing. You know what I'm saying? 
So anyway, I have to turn it like that. All right. So I guess we're going to use, let's see, hold on. I guess six y'all to start off. If I need any more, um, I guess I'll have to just boil some more. I'm just putting some water in it right now. Fill it up all the way, but just fill it up to where the eggs, where you can barely see the tip of the egg showing. And by the time they get down there, they'll be boiled and cool. All right, so I'm probably gonna put this on. Um, I'm probably gonna put this on. Uh, I don't know. Probably a seven. I'm probably gonna put that on seven, and uh, we're gonna boil these eggs. We got the the stuff for the crab boil on. The only things that we got to add now is the shrimp. Well, let me switch it around. Is the uh, lobster tails? We got two of those, and then we got the shrimp. We put those on and we boil those to the consistency. Okay, so when you put the the lobster tail in, um, you put those in and it's gonna boil for 12 minutes. Okay, so after 12 minutes, the shrimp, you put the shrimp in there and the shrimp don't need long at all. You boil it for maybe a minute, or about three minutes, and then you turn off the fire well you boil them until they turn pink make sure they turn pink but if it's within the three minute period then that's cool enough and then you turn it off and you let it sit for about 20 minutes and then that's gonna be cool right there the eggs are gonna be done when the water's almost gone the eggs are done you take those out put them under cold water real quick so that you'll be able to peel them when it's time to peel them because it's bad when you got to take pieces of that thing and sometimes it happens and sometimes it won't. But put cold water on them so that you'll be able to peel them. Leave them in there for a minute so that you'll be able to peel them and then take them out. You know what I do with mine? I put mine in there after it's all done. I put mine in the, in the boil. But you don't have to. I'm not saying for you to do it. You don't have to. Now we just let this stuff boil and when it's done, now I probably won't come get you when the eggs is done because it's just eggs, right? So I'm just boiling the eggs. But when this is done, I'll come back and get you guys and show you the other processes. Well, I'll get, I'll put the lobster tails in there and then we'll come back and I'll put the shrimp in there and then we'll come back and then we'll when it's done, we'll put the eggs in there and we'll let it sit for a good 15 or 20 minutes. Then I'll make a plate, guys, and we'll we'll give it an old taste test, right? Oh, and one more thing. You want to take out a stick of butter because you want to melt a stick of butter. So for now, you can just leave the stick of butter at room temperature out on the counter. And uh, when it's time, what you're going to do is, is you're going to melt that down in a bowl 
you're going to melt that butter down in the bowl, probably in the microwave or something, melt it down. And once we get everything out of the pot and into a bowl or a plate or something like that, you're going to take some of that butter and you're going to pour it on top of it. And when you pour it on top, it's going to it's gonna be nice and buttered and potatoes and that corn, them eggs and all that seafood and stuff. All that stuff going to have butter all on it, man. It's going to have the seasonings all on it, man. It's going to have all of the regular seasons on it. Oh, man, it's going to be awesome, man. So, hey, just tune back in. I'll be back with you guys. And uh, I don't know. I don't know. Whenever that's done, I can't put no time limit on I wish I could give you time limit, but I can't. Uh, when that's done boiling, then I'll come back and get you guys, and we'll do the next step. Which, it won't even be that long, but we'll do the next step anyway, okay? Uh, let me make sure I ain't forgetting nothing, guys. Um, I think that's it, man. I think that's it, y'all. Uh, so I'll come back, get back with you guys in a, in a few. As soon as, as soon as that gets done, I'll get back with you guys. And then we'll finish off the recipe. Man, I love being with you guys. This is, a, hey, it's strange, man. It's strange, but not strange, you know? Um, but I'm back, man. So, um, you know, unless something else happens, I'm back. You understand what I'm saying? Cooking in the hood with CJ Mack. We doing our thing, y'all. Hey, I got a, I got a joke. Uh, no, no. I ain't even going to say it because it's a little touchy and I don't know how people is, man. So I'm not even going to do it, man. But anyway, so when this get done, we're going to be all right. I'm going to show y'all the rest of it. Hey, love being with y'all. 